<laughs> I really wanted to use the Twilight Dark Avenger. It looks like a crazy card. Also, um, there's some reasons why like the dragons could be good together. Uh, like they're both battle cry oriented, so they both go well with Brand too. Dragons and Cthune. Uh, dragon, you don't need that much dragons. It's like you only need just one dragon in your hand. Is someone injured? So it's like a light splash. Well, kind of priest has like some bad minions as well. So you know, using these like neutral power cards as well. Another thing is um. I mean, I'll probably have to say it again as Mark will come, but I don't like Shower Pain, like removal, like the situational removal. I think it's much better to have removal like Frostbolt. And Disciple of Cthune and Blackwing Corruptor are ways where I can actually get in, you know, damage effects instead of just super situational removal, which usually, which doesn't work out as well a lot of times. So now I have ways to deal like tier 3 damage a lot of times. Especially since my minion deck, it's like even more important. That was a mistake. You think this is funny? Right away. I'm assuming he tries to trade with the Norchar cleric. Like a wrath or something. That'll be. That means that his guy trades with uh, basically my whole board. Well, I mean, wrath kills a minion, so basically trade with the other two. Okay, that's good. Ooh, Bran is very powerful in this deck. Uh, I don't like healing my guy. Like, kind of a waste as well to play Blacker and Corruptor. I might even just Drake here. Let's see. Yeah. I don't have another dragon, I know that, but. I, I really don't like Brand here because it plays Drake and Neutral Call Charge Form. Right away. Where shall I strike? Okay, so now my Cthune is activated, or let's say Clinemps is activated. I also have this brand here that he has to kill. I already avoided the drill call in charge form. How good is this Dragon Priest? I'm not sure. We'll see today. The Ancient One. Ooh. Three Emps. I can also double corruptor it. That way I only have to trade in a 2 1. This way, I, if I imps, I have to trade in everything. Like, I can still keep the brand alive. I must consider. The Feast of Souls. The gift Shall bring victory. <laughs> All right, I feel, I feel I feel like I'm just making myself miserable right now. Uh, 
I'm gonna s probably say this powered shield for the beckoner of evil. Where it just has so many ways to deal 3 damage, mostly fireworks, but there's also Alex Draz's champion. You can make some uh, like argument that if he is playing Alex Draz's champion might be better, just go ahead and play it anyways, just because it's a fast matchup. But. You know, the real problem is there's no spells for Priest. <laughs> I tried to like, try to use these things as spells in Corruptor, it's, it's not really enough. I feel like you also need other spells. Hmm. If we're gonna play this as a slow value match, I actually need to think here a lot. Um. I think I want to save Black and Corruptor for Ravage and Ghoul, because this is the way I can deal 3 damage. Uh, let's start with this the draw first, then take the highest value min. This is actually really good. Maybe not as good as Karen, but it's actually close, I think. It might even be better than Shifting Shade. Although actually Shifting Shade would be better, because he's a Cthune deck too, right? So I could actually steal like other Cthune cards, and I actually have activated Cthune. Um, so starting this turn, I mean, I've never played this matchup, so I need to think about how to do this, but I need to decide whether I want to play this as a slow fatigue game or a control game, or a slow fatigue game or a tempo game. I do have in Tome times one, can I kill his minions? I have one death, one in tomb, and one Sylvanas. So can I take this as long? If I take this long, play Walden Grunts, just let him get cards, try to win the fatigue. I think that's a little bit iffy. Also, he's getting too much value from the Acolyte. It's not even that. He's getting. Acolyte is good removal the other way. How do I deal with this? I guess just slowly fighting- well, Chilmol is not bad here. I don't know how important the 3 damage is anyways in this matchup. It's my only dragon, but... I must consider... When I play Cthulhu, I need to think about like Sylvanas. What now? Or there he can just steal it. Core health can be hard to beat. It kills so many of my minions. Probably like four minions. Caffeine sheltered us. That was a mistake. I might just have to get in here to try to clear this board. How do I could think it's so big? 14. Beckoner, two disciples. 
I feel like four. Was a mistake. I guess maximum for this deck is sixteen. I like this play the best, so this is kind of a hard turn, but I don't, like, problem here is his Gorhel and this 6-4 guy. I don't want to give him the trade of Ancient Shield Bear into one of my Twin Imps, because it trades so well there. So I'm trying to use the Wobbling Runs to, like, pop the Death Rattle, and then after, hopefully the 2-2s two can trade in here. I don't really want to drop. Um, Are you my master? Minions in a gore hell, that's too weak. So I'm trying to drop twin imps into this five or four next turn. So I, I didn't have good power shield there, I think. Okay, now this looks like a twin imps turn. He still has this beckoner. That's unfortunate, but. I'm actually not going to shield any of these. I think this match of the best targets for shield is going to be something like a mid range minion, like a Drake or Corruptor, Twilight Darkmender. Because the shield there actually make like, I feel like 4 6, he'll, he'll have to kill with a shield slam or an execute mostly. Whereas 4-4, four, four, he can kill with a Fireworks plus a Slam, a Fireworks plus a Disciple, a Rouging Ghoul, you know, this, these weak charges of Gore Hell. So I think it's better to save my Power Shield for a Drake. I know I didn't shield the Drake last turn, but that's because he had the Ancient Shield Bear up, which dealt 6 damage, so it was pointless there as well. I mean, he does have 6 damage here, but whatever, when I shield, he can just kill the other one, right? So that doesn't really matter. It's not too bad to shield the worm rest agent. Are you mocking me? Hello. Too quickly. Are you mocking me? I feel like if I had a death or tomb, I wouldn't even play the second worm rest agent. I'd take it slowly. Right now they're still still a little bit weird on, on Solanus. Because if he doesn't attack here, I can't trade cleanly. I still have to deal with a 2-1 after when I steal it, or when he steals it. But because I don't have anything to deal with Cthune right now, I feel like I have to play a little bit stronger. I wonder. With Solana's death, I can steal his Cthune. I do want to steal it. A lot of people are using Doomcaller. Entomb or, or Shower Death, or Solana's effect. Some way to steal it would be good. At least, at least it's actually harder than Doom Caller for me, I think, in this matchup. The main problem is I'm like a tempo deck masquerading as a control deck. Well, can I steal his in this matchup? Acolyte? I don't know if that's good at this point. Beckoner of Evil? He's already played. Um, two Disciples he's played. Might not be any targets left for this Cabal. Post Monkey? I don't know. I'm probably gonna play this out. 
Death to the pretender. Actually, that's a mistake, huh? Because he has this score health charge. I should have waited for him to trade for the Divine Shield and then play it. Because right now, if he just kills my Cabal instead of killing the 5 4, then I, I, I can't trade the 5 4 in after. I should have waited for the trade first. I just want to get the trade over with. So it doesn't kill the Fire Rocks and Ravaging Ghoul. Do I wait to play Dark Mender until I get Entomb? Oh wait, I have Savannah's Death, okay. No, I should just wait, it doesn't matter. He has more than enough removal to kill it. I'm not getting the value from the heal, and he might burst me with Cthulhu and things like that, so I kind of want to save it. Like, even though it feels like the heal's useless, it might not be useless after Cthulhu. We'll, we'll see what happens now. Go ahead and fatigue. I do have more minions. It's just I don't want to play these minions. I have a lot of four drops and five drops left. Some of the mi mid-range minions I can hopefully pressure him with. Maybe he's waiting for Cthulhu. Actually, that's fine. I've entombed, so I'll try to make him deal with these mid-range minions. That's nice if he doesn't get the Divine Shield, because I'm already weak. Like, I'm already weak to this guy. I don't really have any ways to kill a 6-3 anymore after the Corruptors, so this is actually perfect for me. Uh, I would like to play Bran plus Guardian here, but I'm too weak to Brawl then. There's no more targets for my Bran. Probably save it for the last Twilight Guardian then. I have one more Twilight Guardian in my deck. I don't want to play here. Three minions, two to brawl. So what does he have left? He has a Cthulhu to execute. Um, the monkey. I don't think there's any more minions. Other than those, the Cthulhu. Twinamp's shield bear has been used. Just Crestalvanus. Maybe some five drops. I'm not sure if it's like Mate Harrison Jones. This is too close to fatigue for comfort. I'm not sure if I'll win this fatigue. I think I'll definitely lose if I play Drake though, because I'll start fatiguing faster. He is up like half a card over me. He's one, I'm at two. And I'm dealing three damage right now. He's taking up for four, so he's getting one armor every turn. 21 plus 14 is 35. If you count the fatigue, the thing is I'll still lose to the burst at the end. It's like 16 damage burst. I, I am gonna have to make the first move. And going to fatigue, but I can't make the first move by playing Drake. I'm gonna I'm gonna make the first move by playing Twilight Guardian, my second Twilight Guardian. I wonder. Oh, I made a mistake. I should have just put this Whelp. That should be the move I make anyways, because I, I should always play a Whelp Guardian together. I don't want to play two Guardians, get them cleared with Brawl or something, and then have to play you know the Whelps into the Axe. So yeah, I should have done this last turn. Is this actually enough for me to force him to make the first move? I'll be doing one damage return. That's still not enough. My last card's a Welp. I think what I'm going to do is just play this Welp. Next turn, play another Welp. That'll force him to make the first move. I, I think I would win at this point on the race, but not if you count the 16 damage burst from Cthulhu. I wonder if he's actually going to just go ahead and play the monkey. I don't know if I'll win against that. I've already used my Cthulhu. Um, didn't save it for post monkey. Felt like I had to use the clear there. I have Sylvanas at least post monkey and Entomb.
I don't know if I can afford to play around killing his minion. I mean, I can't even kill his minion, not unless I play the Twilight Drake or the Azure Drake Holy Nova. So I feel like I'm just going to have to hope if he does brawl here that I at least, you know, he doesn't win the brawl. I can entome the monkey. Hmm, that's interesting. If I entome the monkey, yeah, I can change my hand to. Oh. Hmm. I, I guess I didn't, I didn't see that until now. If I was gonna do that, I probably should not be playing the Twilight Whelp then. Although I still have to make it so that he has to make the first move. So maybe I still have to play something there. Yeah, so I'm definitely gonna have to play this. Um, had to play this guy. I feast upon you. Or else he can simply tank up until he wins. He doesn't even have to play the monkey. I'm not sure if I want to entomb the monkey. I don't have that many cards left to change into legendaries, and all these cards are really good. What like, death is worth a legendary, entomb is... I guess I would entomb the monkey. Solanus is, like, good. I can change these two into legendaries. Let the pain speak to me. That's a very weird play. He's trying to make it so that he never has to play the monkey. I still have to play another minion here, I'll, I'll just lose to... I have to play Sylvanas here. I have no time for games. Tank up. Now he has one less card after monkey. I don't I think he's planned never playing monkey. His hand is execute at least monkey. What's the last card? Yeah, he pro he actually might just never have to play monkey. Yeah, this game's over. Actually can't yeah, no, he can't, I can't win. This game. Well, wait, once I start taking fatigue damage, I can heal myself. But he's still not. I'm not getting anywhere just the brand, right? I don't even think I can play Drake regardless of whether I had Brand up. Oh my god, he messed up! 